In this video, we're going to be working on our game settings widget. So if we look at Nazi Zombies, we'll click Game Setup. We are met with this screen here. So we know we're going to have a little vertical box here to store various settings for the server, as well as we want to have a map image and a list box containing the maps that we can select from. So if we go ahead and I'm just going to go ahead and select that by default. So if we go ahead and get started, we know we'll need to make a new control or a new canvas panel. So under panel, drag that into the widget switcher. Let's give it a name of cp underscore host underscore settings. That'll work. All right. Now we have a vertical box here. I'm going to go ahead and copy it, paste it in. And we're going to need to split this up via a horizontal box as well. So that way we can have the option and then the actual uh, text box. So I'm actually going to I'm going to delete the contents of it. I just wanted to use it for size pretty much. So let's see, its position is 160, 80. Keep it about the same. And let's get a horizontal box. All right. So let's grab text. Then we want to get a editable text box or editable text on the right side. Let's give it some default text um, or hint text. My input. Let's see the font for that is 24 in bold. Let's do 24. Probably wouldn't hurt to have a little bit of space there. So what we can do is get a thing of text. Put it in here, change text block to empty and just do a couple spaces. Let's do three. Let's do 10. Let's make you wider. Let's bump you out to 450. And set it to fill. All right, let's give this an option. So let's call this one server name. Right, I want to actually just give it default text. So call it my server. Right, so we got the server name. Uh, the rest of the settings I'm going to leave for now. We're not going to actually set them up. We're just going to gradually implement more features as we start working on our lobby system. So the next thing we want to add is a list box that contains pretty much just a button and an image above to correspond to it. So let's grab, I want to copy the image right here, because that's the same size that I want to have it as. And paste it up there. Let's anchor to the top right. That's over 480 by 480. Someone had told me in the uh, comments to use the, the alignment which is actually very helpful because I never actually considered doing that. So we can go down by 0.1 or negative 0.1, negative 0.2. Right, I think that's at negative 0.15. Let's do the same, negative 0.15. I mean 0.15. What in the world am I doing? 1.15. I'm an idiot. And that puts it pretty nicely. I might want to scale that down a bit. I think I want to scale it down just this tad. Yeah, let's do 400 by 400. 
that should leave us a fair amount of room underneath. Okay, so let's call this one i underscore host underscore settings underscore map image. Very beautiful name. And this editable text box for my server, let's give it a name, call it etb underscore host underscore server name. All right, let's get a list box, or I think it's, what's it called? Scroll box, right here, anchor to the bottom right. Let's start thinking of the size, compare, width-wise it's the same. So I do 400. Let's do 400 by 400 for now. Whoops. So let's see. 1.15. 1.15. Let's bring this up to 1.5. It's about right. One point one two or one point two. Alright, one point one eight's right underneath of it. Not sure why it's off slightly, but I'm not too worried about it. And the size on the Y four fifty. Just get a rough idea. Let's go to five twenty. I think that'll be good. Yeah. Let's do the one point one five, and we're right back to where we want it. So let's call this one SCRL. Underscore host underscore settings underscore map list and set it as a variable. Okay, and this is what we're going to be filling. Out of curiosity, do I, do I not have another scroll box? All right, I did SCRL in lowercase. Zero. Okay. And you are not letting me change your name, are you? Whatever. Good enough. All right, so we have our scroll box. Now we just need a back button. So I'm going to steal this one. And paste you in here. Let's see, what was the position? 380 by 50. File save. So B underscore host underscore settings back. Keep the name consistent. Set it on clicked. And we're going to use the host game, so widget index 4, like so. And then when game settings is clicked, we're going to go to index 5. So let's test it out. Game settings. Have all that, empty scroll box, click back, 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 and we're good. Alright, so we have that laid out. Gonna nudge these up here since they're not really doing anything important. I kinda wanna categorize these, just make it easier to see. I'll probably do that in the next one or something. Okay, so we have, oops. We have this set up. Make sure all that's named. 
Let's see. Okay, making sure that wasn't a variable. The image. Try renaming you one more time to no avail. All right, let's give it a new name. Let's see if I can. There we go. That's an interesting bug. Okay, so we got that. Okay, I think we're good to go. Because that's all I really want right now. Uh, I do want a button that says OK. So we're going to implement that. And that's going to be our quote unquote settings confirmed. So I'm going to grab this back button, paste it again. Where the heck is it? Way down here. Change that text to OK. Anchor to the right side. Why are you not in the center? Yeah, whatever. All right, let's reset it. Let's do one and one. All right, so it's kind of three quarters of the way over. Whoops. So like three for the alignment. All right, and when OK is pressed, let's create an on-click event. We're gonna do the same thing as our back button. And I realized I forgot to name it. Host settings. OK. I guess that would be probably better to be named like settings confirmed or something. But I'm going to move this up here with our back button. Switch them up a little bit. So when we press OK, settings will be changed here and displayed, such as the map image. When we press back, let's say we change something and press back, I want nothing to change. So that's going to be how we uh, set this up. All right, so that is all for this video. We set up our game settings widget. And not quite sure what we're going to do in the next one, but I'll see you then regardless.